We've all heard the old saying that great things come in small packages. Meet Snuggles. When Snuggles was losing her vision, her owners brought her from Texas to Colorado State University for treatment. Colorado State immediately responded back and we were like, there, we, we know where we're going now. So we loaded up and drove our 12 hours to Colorado yeah, State. Yeah, we talked to Dr. Powell and Dr. Powell said, well, bring her up and you know, we'll see what we can do. So we did. Snuggles was blind in one eye and then she had glaucoma in the second eye. And if the glaucoma isn't treated, that eye will go blind. And so we wanted to get her in as soon as possible so we'd have the greatest chance of being able to fix her. Our equine programs help horses like Snuggles every day. The Orthopedic Research Center, the Equine Reproduction Laboratory, the Equine Hospital, and our Equine Sciences undergraduate program make us here at CSU an international center of equine excellence. Thanks to you, we can take care of the little guys, the big guys, and everyone in between. And now, Snuggles is back in Texas doing what she does best, helping people feel better. Look what I brought you. A little horse. The technical term is equine guided therapy and we take them to nursing homes and children's shelters. Just anybody who needs a little uplift. We took her to Colorado to have surgery on her eye because she has a glaucoma and the pressures were really high. Those are kids that have been pulled out of their house by CPS, either from abuse or neglect. So we take the horses over there about every couple of months. Are you being shy or are you scared? Oh, come on. When we got there, he was like, I don't want to touch it. Before you knew it, that kid was brushing the horse and walking the horse. And when we got ready to leave, he's the one that wanted to put the horses in the trailer. It's fun to see how people's reactions kind of evolve. Where we're going today, I hope the lady's there the last time we were there. She was just singing and singing to him. A bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around your neck. Hug around the neck. Saving her vision, fixing her eye, to me was imperative so that she can continue her mission. We visit hundreds and hundreds of people every year. It goes on and goes on, the number of people that are touched by what they were able to provide for her. We can't change anything for the whole life of any of those children or any of those adults that are in nursing homes. We can't, we can't fix them, we can't, but we maybe can fix them one day. Maybe we can make one day better.